And when I saw that um, happening in my hometown, I knew that we needed to do something. There are countless photos and videos moving cash shake to help the people of Texas. My friends and family and, and, and really a lot of people like, that I'm close to are in Houston. We just got some of our Pampers donations from the Pampers team. Shake is filling his business's Be Somebody van with supplies like diapers right now to drive to his hometown of Houston. He's trying to gather water, food and other things. Shake, like other Cincinnatians, is using social media to help people in need. Every other post is you know, someone's house underwater or someone can't get out of their neighborhood or really heartbreaking things and saying, hey guys, my uncle, he's 63, he's trapped in his house. Can somebody come help him? They gave us the address and said, we think you can make it there with jet skis. This jaw-dropping Facebook Live video comes from Cincinnatian Mike Bolin, who drove 17 hours to Texas. He was stopped by flooded roads today, so he launched jet skis in a town outside of Houston to help. There's a lot of people trying to get into the, to the city, a lot. People with boats, people with jet skis. There's a lot. He's encountered submerged cars and guardrails. Bolin's also been face to face with treetops and relentless rushing water. We ran into horses that were tied up to posts. We ran into abandoned horses that had water up to their chests that weren't moving. Shake and others plan to drive to that same region to deliver supplies to shelters, rescue and provide transportation for people in need, and rescue dogs and cats. But to be honest, we want to just dive in and, and help as many people as possible. All right, now, Shake says so far they've been able to gather 4x4 trucks, SUVs, flat bottom boats, jet skis, and other equipment, all thanks to social media, and all of that will accompany them to Houston. We're live at the bank. Stan Griffin, WLWT News 5.